Will Crockett's videos help me to shoot smarter, not harder? Will Crockett is my hybrid photo coach. With the great low light performance of today's cameras, that means we can start shooting portraiture using continuous lights instead of flash. Crazy, right? That allows us to not only set up one set of lights that we can use for still photos, but we can also use those same lighting setups for video talking portraits. Nice stuff, right? Well, if you're going to move into continuous light, you're probably going to have to figure out what you're going to do about LEDs. Now, LEDs don't behave the same way flash does, and you'll find out there's one big issue with LEDs, that is color. Some LEDs have great color, some don't. How are you going to control that color? And how are you going to deal with things like warm environments or cool, <laughs> cool environments there? Let me help you. I've been a commercial photographer for 30 whatever years and we do this all the time. We've made a new video, it's about 40 minutes long, and it's called the ABCs of LEDs, Gaining Color Confidence, and you might want to spend $9.99 and take a look. I am moving, slowly but surely, my photographic lighting style that's taken me a long time to build. In fact, it's always changing. I'm adapting it into the ability for us to not only shoot portraits with still photo camera equipment, but moving portraits, talking portraits. I want to be able to have that really crispy lighting that I have from my photo work that I've used flash as well as strobes and a, all kinds of variety of different light modifiers. But now I want to do it with LEDs. This series is called the ABCs of LEDs. And this first one is all about how to capture that captivating color. I'm kind of picky when it comes to color. I use it for not only describing, there's a bunch of different sizes and shapes of LEDs and choose whichever ones work best for you. But you will find that there are LEDs that work on a camera. So those are gonna have the ability to slide typically into a hot shoe. They'll also have the ability to mount to a stand that's on your camera, or sometimes you can just clamp them to your tripod. These are lightweight and typically low power, and they've got options on whether or not they're going to be powered by rechargeable batteries or if you're going to be able to put disposable batteries into them. Then on the upper end of the scale, there are studio LEDs, and these typically take the shape of 12 inches wide by 12 inches tall. We call those one by ones because they're one foot by one. So are you comfortable with the whole idea of the white point setting in your camera is kind of equal to the color temperature of your light yet? Hang on, it'll come to you. It's kind of like riding a bicycle, right? Let's say that we have a light source that's 5,500 degrees K and it has zero LB shift and we really like this light source. We can set the white balance of our camera to 5,500 degrees K and we're going to get nice neutral colors. Well, let's say that like in this shot, we've got warm light coming off this way, a little neutral light coming here, and we've got neutral light this way. Be thinking about what those are lit by the studio LEDs that I use, and that's a brand from Bowens called Limelight. And we've got two different versions. They both look identical, but one of them has adjustable color temperature, and the other one doesn't. It's fixed at daylight. Now, you can buy them fixed at tungsten, but we're more daylight kind of photographers. So really, video is sRGB. Let's just go ahead and live with it there, right? Then beyond that, the uh, other handful of tools, the uh, gels, the tripods, the light stands, the regular group of stuff, right? Stuff. Let's take a look at the spectral output response, forgive me for using the technical term, of daylight at 5,500 degrees K. And you're going to notice that you've got the blue and you've got the red and you've got all the roids. And you can pretty much guess what happens if I show you, there you go, an LED that's set to 5,500K. And this is a good quality LED, by the way. Look at how thin this is. This means that if we have our color off one way or another, too green, too magenta, too much color one way, not enough color another way, we're going to run out of accurate color in order to make skin tones look like skin tones. Temperature. The opposite of CTO is CTB, color temperature blue. And it's going to allow us to take a tungsten light source that's color temperature 32, 34, 3600 K and move it up to daylight, which is 55, 5600 K. So CTB gels, color temperature blue, increase color temperature. So think blue moves my color up. Orange moves my color down. The next kind of gel is used for adjusting the LB, the magenta green shift. Remember the LEDs have that little problem of green and magenta kind of creeping around? Well, these are gels that are either magenta, which is minus green,
Well, Crockett is my hybrid photo coach and photo Yoda.